Okay, challenge. I'm Mr. Alex again. We're here for another week of life skills. I'm here with Miss Pam and Miss Alexa again. And today we're going to talk about conflict escalation. So last week we talked about different examples of conflict and what that can look like. So today we're going to start and find out how conflicts can get worse if we handle it the wrong way or if they can get better by handling it with, with right decisions. Um, but it's important to know when a conflict is escalating. So in order to know that, you have to look inside yourself and think, what makes you get madder when you're already mad? So for me, if I'm already mad, if I'm in a conflict and I'm, I'm mad at someone or mad at myself, if someone comes up and asks me, oh, Alex, what's wrong? Or Alex, just calm down. That makes me even more mad. So when they do that, my conflict's going to, if I'm in a conflict, I'm just going to escalate it. I'm going to get more mad and I'm, I'm going to say something I'm going to regret. I'm going to do something I'm going to regret. Because when you get more mad, you tend to think less. Uh, you don't think about what you're going to do before you do it. So today we're going to have some examples from Ms. Pam and Ms. Alexa about how a conflict can happen and ways that it can get worse, some things you can say and do to make it worse, and then how it can get better. So uh, Ms. Pam and Ms. Alexa, go ahead and take it away. Alexa. Yeah? I have a secret. Oh, what is it? Wait a minute. Before I tell you, this is huge. Do you promise you'll keep my secret? I pinky promise. No, really. Like, this is huge. You have to promise. Yeah, I don't break pinky promises. Okay. I have a crush on Joey. You know Joey from gym class? Joey from gym class. Oh, I like did. him. I, I, I really do. Like, so much that I may ask him to go get ice cream over summer break. Oh, that would be fun. Okay, you promised, right? Yes, I promise. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Alexa. I can't believe you. What? You told my secret. I crossed my fingers. You promised you wouldn't tell anybody. Now everybody knows. Oh, I crossed my fingers. That's, and they not asked me. What, that's not what good friends do. Well, you didn't see my fingers crossed. My feelings are hurt. I'm so mad at you. Well, why would you like Joey anyway? He's so nice, and that's not the point. You promised you wouldn't tell. Well, you didn't see my fingers, so it's your fault. I'm embarrassed. Everybody's talking. Okay, so that was how an example, an example of how conflict can get worse. So what we saw was Pam told Alexa a secret, and she didn't want anyone to tell, but Alexa went behind her back and told the secret anyway. So we can see the conflict escalate because Pam, once she found out that the secret was told, her voice started to, she first of all accused Alexa right away. She didn't ask her any questions about it. She accused her right away, which can start a conflict off on a bad foot from the start. And then she started to raise her voice as the situation continued. If you get madder and you start yelling and your voice gets louder and louder, that can also make the conflict get worse and escalate to those different levels. And then Miss Alexa made the conflict worse. Well, she started the conflict by telling the secret in the first place. And so it's important to know if a friend shares a secret with you, you don't tell the secret. Um, and then she made it worse again by saying, by blaming Pam for the whole thing. Miss Pam for the whole thing. She said, oh, well, you didn't see my fingers crossed. It's not my fault that I had to tell the secret. If you didn't see my fingers crossed, it's your fault. And by pushing blame onto the a whole other person in the situation, that also makes the conflict worse. In most conflicts, it's, it's a, um, both sides can do something to make the conflict better. If you just tell the other person, oh, it's your fault, you're, the fault, you're at fault in this, this conflict wouldn't be happening if you would have done it better, that always makes the conflict worse as well. So now we're gonna do the same situation, but we're gonna use some de-escalating uh, tactics to make this problem get better before it gets to that point where it gets too bad. So go ahead. Hey, Alexa. Yeah? I have a secret to tell you. Oh, do you? 
do you promise me you won't tell anyone because this is huge? Yeah, Pinky Promise. Seriously, Pinky Promise? Nobody Seriously. can know. Seriously. I don't break Pinky Promises. Okay. Do you know Joey and gym class? Yeah. I have a crush on him. <gasps> you have a crush on Joey from gym class? A huge crush. I've been wanting to tell you forever. <gasps> Yeah, I think I'm going to ask him out. Don't tell anyone. Oh, I will not tell anyone. Okay, I will see you later. See ya. Alexa. Yeah? Can I talk with you for a second? Yeah. Alexa. Johnny said that you told everyone about my secret. Is this true? Yeah, it is. Alexa, why? My feelings are so hurt, I'm embarrassed. What happened? I thought you promised. I did, but they asked me who you liked. My feelings are so hurt. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm afraid now he won't like me. Everybody's making fun of me. What should I do? How do we, I don't want to fight with you. You're my good friend. I'm sorry. Yeah, friends don't tell friends secrets. Thank you for apologizing. I'm sorry I told. Thank you. Okay, so that's a good way that we can show how conflict de-escalates. So it's the same exact scenario uh, Pam tells Alexa a secret, and Alexa still tells that secret. But right from the beginning, we could tell it was handled a little different because instead of accusing Alexa right away, Pam asked her, hey, did you do this? Sometimes just getting that confirmation like, oh, yeah, I did it, sometimes that can make the conversation more open. It's not so accusatory. It's more of an open dialogue, an open conversation that you can have with your friend. And then she said that it actually hurt her feelings and how it made her feel um, embarrassed and sad, like everyone in the school is talking about her. And so if, you are, if you're in this conflict, sometimes just showing how you feel, telling your friend exactly how you feel can make the conflict better too. Because if they're your friend, if they're your real friend, they won't wanna hurt your feelings. They won't wanna make you feel embarrassed. So then they can see that the conflict that um, it needs handled, it needs changed and fixed. And then Alexa, she apologized right away when she saw how it made Pam feel. And sometimes just saying, I'm sorry, can make a whole, a, a lot of difference in an argument, um, even if you did something intentionally or if you did something accidentally that you didn't mean to do. Just saying, I'm sorry, can change a lot of things in a conflict and make it go a lot easier. So that was the lesson today. Uh, we learned how conflict could get worse or better. So once again, if you could go down in the chat below, write your name saying that you were here, and if you could just give us some ways that you could de-escalate a conflict. If you're in a conflict with someone at home, a friend, um, a group of people in a sport, something like that, how can you de-escalate a conflict if it does happen? Um, thank you guys so much. We'll see you again next week. See you. Uh,